morning guys good morning welcome to a new episode of living in for before and in this series we are showing you south africa yes today we are in cape town actually simon's town and we do the route to the cape of good hope still and waiting. cape point it's called but first we're gonna see some penguins they said awesome <laughs> Then uh, we hope that you enjoy this video. <laughs> <laughs> like always we try to give you guys nice deals on products amazing products that is out there and now it's not different we have today the sponsor of this video it is our amazing anchor solix they have like a great offer now for prime day then we will talk about details about this machine again for you guys we have another video that we talked to you guys about it but this video is more that you guys can all enjoy this nice prime day now let's walk through the specs of this beauty. This machine is the Anker Solix F2000 and came with a nice necessaire and inside of this necessaire came like the manual that is pretty important if you want to know everything what the machine can do for you. Then came with the charging cable for a normal plug in the house. This is the version for Europe. 230 and if you are in America you will receive a cable that's 110 I suppose <laughs> then you also have the option if you are in traveling a camper or a car to charge your machine with a normal car plug and then the other thing that's came to it together is like the adapter that you can charge your machine with the solar plates from Anchor Solix. Here it says 230 volt this is uh well if something goes wrong you can reset this uh, it's like a fuse, as I understood, and these are the inlets for the solar plates. Nice. The Anker Solix F2000 has a power, as the name says, 2000 watts, but it has also a peak of 3000 watts. That is important when you are charging things using more than one appliance, that you can get the peak higher. For me, the best part of this powerhouse is the easy tool that they have here the retractable handle that is hidden in this part and it's really nice to bring you to places easier now if you're in a campground or if you're in a beach that you can pull like a suitcase also because of those amazing rugged wheels that will make it for all terrain really easy to tow your machine it has also a pretty prime design with as you guys can see awesome lights and lots of possibilities ac outlets car sockets and all the usb-c usb is really like you can plug anything that you want in this machine it's really nice we also realize now traveling in South Africa in Namibia and also when we were traveling in America that were lots of places that have power outages and this machine I think it could be a great addition for those places because with a power of 2000 uh, watts and a peak of 3000 of course in this machine if you need to know in these power outages you can run all kinds of appliances in your house and this is really good. So I'm gonna just start that. So now I'm gonna go outside and plug the other end. This looks like this. We're gonna manage. There you go. Where does the electricity come from? It comes from the anchor. 2,240 watt. Oh, wow. 
while traveling one of the things that a um, lot of people cannot take with them are something like that a hair dryer and especially now that we are going to chile now and it will be cold we will need something to keep our hair dry all the time and a machine like that is great because you can really dry your hair without problems and to start it's pretty simple you only need to start the plug that you are using in this case the AC outlet a red plug in and now we can start <laughs> Now guys, if you are interested in buying one of those, it's Prime Day they have an offer that you can save $450 on the Anchor Solix F2000, this machine here, and up to $1,200 in the solar generators of them. This is a great moment to really have one of those, I think. I will add the link to this machine with the discount in our description. Then if you guys want to really buy one, go there and check it out. Now enough of promotion and let's go and enjoy our video about South Africa in Namibia. See you guys! There we go, all the information needed. Entry times, what they allow. And here we have the entrance, Boulders Visitor Center, South African National Parks. There it is, we just paid 170 per person rent. And now we will go to see some penguins. Exciting, Mateo! Legal, huh? Mateuzinho! A gente vai ver pinguins por primeira vez. Oh. Ah, there is already. Ah. <laughs> there it is one. <laughs> Got it. Ah, another one down there. Hello, my friend. Are you having fun, Matu? Yeah. Look at all these the tracks. Tracks, penguin tracks. Ele tá ali dentro da casinha. 
Ó. Oh. Sim. Ali dentro da casinha. Hã? Ah. Oi. Ele vem dizer oi pro Mateu. Cadê? Ia. Muito bem. Super, vamos? Sim, o Matheus conseguiu sozinho. There are so many, this is amazing. They are so sweet. Lots of people around here. And when you come out or before you get in, you have all those markets here where people sell some crafts really well made all about africa it's pretty cool you see and more and more and more there's a group of people singing it's really nice and we just saw the penguins how was that mateo você gostou dos pinguins nice. ah, cool and you like it nice Mateo walking Simon's town. We are going for lunch. Recommendation was the lighthouse cafe. Let's see. Hey, Bipulito. Hast du gut gegessen? Calamari and fish and chips. Fish and chips and calamari. Yum, yum, yum. getting used to to this driving in the left side how no, you feel now i don't get used to it no <laughs> it's the wrong side guys <laughs> People. But Tell be careful. Is what is baboons? Supposedly you can find them on the road. There we come the entrance of the Cape Point. Table Mountain National Park. Nice. I just saw that there is 360 per person. Per There's, person? Yeah, I think other adults. I hope per car. I think it's per person. And this is 360 uh, rand, uh, or more or less, I think, 20 bucks per person, per expensive. But when you are here, you need to see those things that we will do. And they close at 5, but you needed to exit at 6 maximum. And if you go late than that, you need to pay 500 rand late exit. Unfortunately, we didn't bring time enough. This would be a three hour hike. We parked down there. Amazing. 
Wow. 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 This is what I call peace and quiet place. Isabella. Amazing. Just here. On the way back. Vogelstrauß. The size of Isabellita. It goes up here. A wild Vogelstrauß. Sorry South Africans, for you nothing, for us a highlight. going to the lighthouse Cape Point down there I see a lighthouse supposedly is where you can have the best views of the Cape now we are going up to see the lighthouse Wow Tá vendo o macaco? Don't get your mood. <laughs> it's pretty tough already without a kid. This historic lighthouse. There is a lighthouse. Awesome. We need only a little more. There goes Pavi Mateo. Lighthouse. Good was pretty cool we did not take the 
the trend that spring up there. Then we decided to hike up and it's not so recommended because you have stairs and we need to carry the Mateo's car, a baby car, up on the stairs and this was not as nice. Oh, look at you behind me. Talk and Jesse was passing. This is the one that you need to pay if you want to get up or down. Look who's here. Please help us out guys. What animal is this? Is this a springbok? I think so. Can't zoom more in with my iPhone. Spring box. Where are you going? Crossing the street and running away. Still waiting. Just across when you from the ocean. I see a lot of animals. I think it's five o'clock-ish. The time when they start moving, I guess. Beautiful. Enjoy the sunset, guys. Yeah, this car is a little bit smaller than our truck, but uh, it does the job for a couple of weeks here in Cape Town and then be surprised what else we're gonna test. Yeah? So, enjoy this video. See you when we see you. Uh, Cape of Good Hope. This is all around here. This was a really nice spot here in Cape Town. It's really, we did the Cape Points, we did the lighthouse, we did everything. I do recommend people that come here to come to visit this spot because it's really gorgeous and the nature and we saw so many animals. This was great. Did you guys like this video? Do you know other places here in South Africa that we should go and that we need to visit? Tell us, comment below. We now know that uh, Babu or something like that is a monkey, macaques, and this is cool. We saw one or two. And this was really nice. We saw all the animals too and it was great. The wildlife here is pretty cool. And thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. A big kiss on all of you and see you in the next episode. Bye bye. In the sunset. clouds or imu. I think it's imu right next to the car. I heard they're dangerous, so they keep distance. <laughs>